Nikola Tesla talked about anti-gravity technology, flying saucers powered by specific Tesla coils and ether which was acted upon by the life-giving creative force. Most of the things you see around you today, electricity, the radio, drones, fluorescent lighting, neon lights, radar, microwave and dozens of other amazing inventions are the result of one mind, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla is a man absent from history books but responsible for futuristic technology which we enjoy today, which was envisioned by this genius over 100 years ago. But Tesla's mind went beyond conventional technologies. In fact, Nikola Tesla registered a fascinating patent in 1928. Patent number 1,655,144 details a flying machine that strangely resembled both an airplane and a helicopter. But that was a patent for the vehicle, which needed a propulsion system. Before his death, Nikola Tesla developed what he called space drive or the anti-electromagnetic field propulsion system. In 1897, when Tesla presented his dynamic theory of gravity, he said that all bodies emit microwaves whose voltage and frequency are determined by their electrical contents and relative motion. Over 100 years ago, Nikola Tesla managed to measure the microwave radiation of our planet and concluded that it is only a couple of centimeters in wavelength. Tesla continues saying that the frequency and voltage of Earth's microwave radiation were influenced greatly by the velocity and mass of our planet. The gravitational interaction with other celestial bodies like the Sun was determined by the interaction of the microwaves between the celestial bodies. Tesla confirmed this, placing two metal plates a certain distance apart, and electrifying them with high voltage, high frequency currents, Tesla currents, or microwaves. At sufficiently high voltage and frequency, the space between them became solid state. It also worked with one plate only, suspending the zinc plate, 1 slash 8 thick x 12 square, weighing about 2 pounds, in mid-air. But not only was Tesla onto otherworldly technology, he went beyond that venturing into other fascinating subjects which eventually led him towards the ether. Speaking about his studies, in an unpublished article of man's greatest achievement, Tesla outlined his dynamic theory of gravity saying that luminiferous ether fills all space. Tesla said that the ether is acted upon by the life-giving creative force. The ether is thrown into infinitesimal worlds, micro helices, at near the speed of light, becoming ponderable matter. Then the force subsides and motion ceases, matter reverts to the ether, a form of atomic decay. Mankind can harness these processes, to precipitate matter from the ether, create whatever he wants with the matter and energy derived, alter the Earth's size, control Earth's seasons, guide Earth's path through the universe, like a spaceship cause the collisions of planets to produce new suns and stars, heat and light, originate and develop life in infinite forms. Interestingly, Tesla went beyond inventions and was onto something big. In fact, when we read about Nikola Tesla's ether we realize how far ahead of the rest of the world this brilliant mind actually was. I have worked out in all details and hope to give to the world very soon. It explains the causes of this force and the motions of heavenly bodies under its influence so satisfactorily that it will put an end to idle speculation and false conceptions, as that of curved space. Only the existence of a weld of force can account for the motions of the bodies as observed, and its assumption dispenses with space curvature. All literature on this subject is futile and destined to oblivion. So are all attempts to explain the workings of the universe without recognizing the existence of the ether and the indispensable function it plays in the phenomena. All of the above could be interpreted as if Tesla was saying that through science, mankind could effectively become one with the creator. Limitless powers is already here, we don't have to invent it, we just have to find a way to see it, feel it, and harness it. Tesla may have found a way, but the rest of mankind was not ready for it.